Hey fellow outlaws and welcome back to Destiny Shoots and this is part 3 of the most deadly player and we're going to be picking up from exactly where we left off. But first of all, big thank you to everybody who subscribed and supports the channel. Again, you guys have been fantastic. Now guys, let's get those Xboxes and Playstations at the ready because we're going to dive into this one. Big shout out to Jonathan out there in Canada for helping out and contributing to this video. Now definitely hang in there for this one guys, I'm going to be showing you how to defeat absolutely everything but we're going to quickly catch up with one of the moves from the last video which is the switch shot. Now this can be accomplished by pressing the trigger button and left on the d-pad but this time guys I want you just to flick the button over and over again. Now you don't want to take all the pressure off guys, just flick it gently because you want to remain in this stance and again the more you practice the more you're going to master this move. If you remain out of sight and this is more or less what this move gives you then you can repeatedly lock on opponents that are coming round the corner and killing them over and over again so guys let's practice at thieves landing just like we did in the first two videos and let's see if we can kill absolutely everybody and remaining in the switch camera view the entire time now for you guys out there that have already mastered this i expect you to be doing this on your friends in free roam and in pvp but for you guys that are only just learning this move keep it in thieves landing it's not like the real thing however it will get you comfortable using these new tricks and this is the same principle as before which is aim up with dead eye shoot before it paints or if you are more comfortable painting the target first that's absolutely fine i do it all the time now let's move forward to sniping for this one it really doesn't matter who you're coming up against sniping's handy for every single different situation and i have a particular way of doing it now i know some of you guys out there like to put your settings as high as you can to be able to maneuver around as fast as possible but i like to do something a little bit different and you've seen how i have my settings now if any of you guys wants to take another look at my settings please look at part one of the most deadly player but now i'm going to tell you why i have the settings the way that i do now you probably noticed at the beginning of the video Video that I was highlighting the dot in the middle of the screen now I use this as a way of being able to get high accuracy I don't want to stay in the sniper stance for too long because you're open to attack from players to the left and the right of you and you always need to be aware of that now I'm the type of player that's going to want to kill you relatively fast so the last thing I'm going to do is stand there moving side to side exchanging shots on one another hoping one of them lands no I'm going to kill you very very fast so by lining up the dot on you in the first place all I'm going to do is press LT to aim and you're more or less going to be dead straight away I'm going to let off two clean headshots and if you can't get your dot to appear just flick the trigger button and it will show in the middle of the screen and the rest is quite self-explanatory just line the dot up with your opponent press the trigger button and you're more or less going to hit them with a body or a headshot straight away and it's not going to take you no time at all to kill them after i killed my opponent i don't maneuver around i don't stay in snipe mode because it's unnecessary i come straight out of snipe mode and then i look for my next opponent by using the right analog stick and for me this is definitely the safer thing to do as you're much more aware of what's going on around you and you're less likely to be killed and if any of you guys are having trouble with multiple snipers griefing you just take the fight to a town where they're not going to be able to get an open advantage on you and if you're using paint it black try to lure them in let them come to you and then use a few of the tactics that i've shown you and let them play to your advantage i mean the last thing you want to be doing guys is sniping in an open field especially when you're outnumbered staying put and forcing them to have to come to you is only going to frustrate the hell out of them and if you're nowhere near a town that's fine as well just look here how i use the hill to my advantage Okay guys, we're going to be moving on. We're going to be taking a look at the dead eye cards and how to defeat them. First of all, just a big shout out to Cryptid and Kovachi for accompanying me earlier on in the week and demonstrating to me how they've mastered the Chelonian move. 
Now guys, a quick look at my ability layout. A lot of people have been asking what ability cards I mainly use. Now since I'm competing at quite a high level in PvP, I'm using a painted black layout that consists of iron lung, fool me once and never without one and remember guys your ability layout has to be in line with what your game plan is so my game plan in pvp is always going to be headshots so a lot of people are going to spam me with body shots and normally i've always got enough time to be able to spin round and hit them with a quick headshot and never without one always comes in handy because if i am playing elite players then their accuracy is going to be very good so i need that little bit of extra time to be able to either react or find a way of beating them so therefore guys i've got no desire to have any aggressive cards when competing in pvp we will be looking closer into ability cards in the next one but for now let's look at all the different ways to be slippery using painted black now as you can see guys at mid range no weapon does absolutely anything you have to get up closer and use the shotgun that's going to be the only way of being able to defeat them with any standard weapon now if slippery is activated at this range you are not going to be able to kill them whatsoever unless you're using a carcano rifle but at this distance that is going to be really hard and as you can see guys the shotgun does absolutely nothing you need to get extremely close with the shotgun or a lot further away with the carcano rifle another fantastic way of being able to disable slippery is fire as soon as you hit them with fire remember this does temporarily disable them and remember guys you can use fire bottles you can even paint them using the fire bottles i guarantee you they will find their mark and if this doesn't work for you guys just hit them with a fire arrow and listen to them scream however if you do want to be a little bit more competitive with slippery you can use standard arrows and go for the headshots you can use throwing knives also going for the headshots and also tomahawks work as well if you're a sharpshooter then go ahead hang back and use the carcano rifle and if some of you guys have still got your mausers or your semi-automatics on you then make sure that you check the radar you can actually see when it is that they come in and out of slippery and just time it right and you'll get the victory now moving on outlaws let's take a look at the card known as slow and steady or as i like to call it the juggernaut and it definitely lives up to this reputation because with a full tank build look how many shots it can take it's like literally being a tank and the same goes for the carcano rifle this is certainly not an ideal card to want to compete with so in short guys the quickest way of destroying this card is wait till no one's looking and just hit it with an e-round it really takes no skill to wield this card guys and the best place to probably use it is in a free roam posse battle now except from using e-rounds on it which is pretty much what i would suggest if you want to stand toe to toe with this card you're looking at around about five consecutive headshots and plenty of diving while you're at it i have learned different ways to wield this card but in my experience this card has always been referred to as people with no skill and are talentless so just remember guys you need to use speed to beat this card if you're going to snipe with them then you're certainly going to want to take advantage of your faster movement if you're standing at mid-range as you can see i'm diving and i'm being very accurate with my headshots which is another good way of doing it however nine times out of ten guys someone using slow and steady is going to be using a tank build and is going to be using level three tonics so if you do feel the need to hit them with an e-round that's absolutely fine if you then get an inbox from them where they're calling you e-round trash or anything like that just kindly point out to them that they can kind of take 16 body shots another way of counteracting slow and steady would be using slippery but that's a video for another day last but not least guys guys the defense mode now if you're in free roam and you're fighting another posse and someone's in defensive mode just have one of your friends run them over with a horse it will knock them out of defensive mode and you can kill them as many times as you want if some talentless moron has glitched themselves into pvp and doesn't quite understand how it's cheating then just go in there with dynamite arrows and blow them up because as soon as they die they will come out of defensive mode it is true that they'll probably just disappear and come back being the cheats that they are in defensive mode but just keep blowing them up guys that's going to be it for this one guys but tune in for part four where i'm going to be showing you how to master slippery